Uh, <laughs> Welcome, Lopers, to Mad Hen Plays uh, More Call. And uh, holy crap, that, that was a thing. Okay, so the reason why you heard me laughing right off the gate was because, well, yeah, you, I mean, Captain, you might as well you, you suck your piss and stuff like that. You might as well, do you want to retell it or just, no? <laughs> sure, okay. Um, so basically, PS4 just had a sale to allow me to be in PS4. So I've been out, I believe, since 2021, but I hadn't played it, I didn't need it. And I can play it on Steam. I just like having console fake games better because I'm not always on my computer. So I bought Succubus for PS4. Go and play it. I enjoy the game. Game is fun. Get to be a fucking Succubus. Get to customize a Succubus. But the game's auto sent. And it wouldn't bug me so much, except that it's like, I get it. I get it. There's a lot of gratuitous violence. There's a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of things going on. But this is just like two generations down from when Kratos was fucking Aphrodite on the PS2. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Why are we suddenly concerned about tens? Why, why are we so, like, to the point that in the opening thing, my arm will be pixelatedly blurred if my arm goes anywhere near my tits. <coughs> you didn't change the animation so that the arm is covering the tit and doesn't need to be blurred. No. My whole arm must be gone because tit is oh so powerful. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, did I hear that right? Did you say tit is oh so powerful? Yes. Huh. <laughs> Yours, my tits, my girls are blur are blurrier than yours. I, I I I cannot. I can't even parody that song. I'm 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 a failure at life. I can't. I I, I refuse to. I cannot live on this planet. <laughs> now don't don't get me wrong though. I'm not doing that whole speech of like oh things need to be fair for men and women. No no men in the game are fucking blurred too. Dick is clearly there, but I can't see it because of this. Clear. There are people sitting in torture things waiting for me to set them fucking on fire, and the whole center half of it in that chair is blurred the fuck out. So I know it's fucking there whether I can see it or not. Oh, wait, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I can kill, I can kill the horse. I can kill the horse because the horse clips the horse through the geometry. What? also reveals me the thing that I think I just caught on to because I was confused why. It may not be it, but it's, it's the best I got. Mm -hmm. So in slight political aside stuff, have you heard recently them fucking going on and on about how like Boston is the god of the transgenders and blah blah blah. Ah, damn it! Hold on, uh, no, I haven't heard that. Well, that's basically what the news grinding says. When they were talking about transgender people, and they were like, oh, they worship Baphomet, transgender god. And I was like, I don't ever remember Baphomet being the transgender. 
gender job. Like, this is a long running history in all books of Baphomet just being like, I shall burn everything that you do. But, <coughs> succubus, Baphomet is there. Mm -hmm. For some reason, Baphomet has tips. He still has his four arms. So does the goat But has tips now. So, I'm kind of like, maybe that's where he started being like Baphomet's transgender god because they suddenly threw him in the game and put some tits on him. There's no other depiction of Baphomet that would make the thing. It's like, ah, oh, Satan, they went and found the one demon who supports all this. Especially considering Baphomet existed before anybody was using the words trans. So, I don't know how he labeled himself something that wasn't known at the time. But anyway, that's my political side. Yeah, I know. Right. It just happened to be in the game, so I was just when Baphomet walked out there, and I was like, why do you have tits? When did you get tits? Maybe that's why this game got censored. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still... Wait, am I the only one... Wait, where's the other dude? Whoa. Yeah, there's two... It's two of V1, but... Man, this, this is boring. Well, whatever. Not the end of the world. As long as I get some XP, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Hey, did you see um, the Sony showcase? Yeah, I, I took a little time, saw a few things. I'm semi excited, semi confused. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot. Well, I was wondering. Um. Because, like, I know some people are just like, um, uh, like, what the hell does a triangle stand for in, in Metal Gear Solid, in the Solid 3 remake? And I'm like, who, I'm, I'm honestly like, dude, seriously, who cares? <laughs> well, see, even me, I was, when that first clip came up, I was lost in the very beginning. I had forgotten the beginning opener to St. Peter. And so I had forgotten. Until it started going over to the corner. Uh huh. And started moving forward, and I was like, oh, oh, I know what this is. And then the fucking music kicked in. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. But I will admit, there's some. I, I am intrigued by the things that got put out in the showcase that somewhat looked almost like indie game design. Like that, um. Wait, which one? Which game are we talking about? I, uh, like, I was gonna say Phantom Blade Zero. Is that it? It's. I'm intrigued by Phantom Blade Zero, but not for it's like someone trying to be indie style. But I do really like it. It it did kind of catch me out guard when I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. So I will keep an eye for that. Okay. It's very almost acid trip color type game where he's running around. I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. But like, um, wow, this dude is. I think this dude is either gloating or is just not happy that I killed him once. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just, I just, I'm just, dude, I'm just vibing at this point. Is because like I'm just here for the XP. Please, I don't really you know, care. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's four. We got four minutes left. I might as well just see this through and get the XP. But anyway, um, yeah, because like, what what else? The uh, like, I gotta admit, granted, you know, um, the only reason why I'm stoked about Snake Eater three, uh, about Snake Eater the 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 three make is is this, um. Because in terms of... There's there's not a whole lot they need to change. They don't need to make it more nuanced because it was already nuanced as hell. They really just need to update, like, mechanics. Yeah, I mean, unless they're gonna... Um, 
Yeah, and unless they're gonna, uh, uh, unless they're gonna do, oh wait, no, I don't, if, I don't want to complete this objective. Because if I complete this objective, then I'll get five extra minutes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Cause like, it, like it's, I don't want to be here. Yeah, no, if it's just me and this dude, then uh, this person, then no. But um, uh, the only, cause like there's there's really there's really not much they need to add. I mean, Solid never had much good much good in terms of gameplay. That like that's the only thing they really need to update. Cause the gameplay sucked. In the in Metal Gear Solid and and Snake Eater. Yeah. No! Stop killing them! Please! No! 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 Yeah. Damn! Damn it! Now, now, now we're here. Man, this sucks. Now he's gonna kill. This person's gonna kill the rest of the foresters, and I'm just gonna be like, God, fuck you. God damn it! Oh Damn it! You can pillage the fort on your own, man. Screw this. I know I said I was here for the XP, but like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, the only other thing that, uh, cause like, Snake, the only reason why I'm like, uh, fixated on Snake Eater and Phantom Blade is because I think those are the only two Sony exclusives. Other than that, it's just like, oh, we have the new Assassin's Creed game that's coming out. Yeah, it's gonna be for all consoles. Oh, we have this game coming out. Again, all consoles. You gotta keep going, dude. I can look... One thing everybody wanted to jump down... Like, a lot of people were jumping down Sony's throat after they revealed the, the new handheld they're coming out with. I guess they were... I guess they were expecting the PlayStation 6. I mean, I wasn't. The Maybe. fuck would we need the PlayStation 6 for? People are still fighting the fucking Bob 5. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, that and the, there was like the PS5 Lite yeah. they unveiled, and, and like... That's why, and I'm still over here playing 4, because I'm like, I still have enough shit to play. I'm in there for a bunch of and half the shit is still getting put out on 4 anyway. So. Yeah. So I was like, I would have been surprised had they tried to be like, we're gonna do the 6. Like, no. No, I would much expect a handheld because that's the area they're not cornered. Well, yeah, I mean, they still have to Never compete with the Switch. Always been kind of a doggy thing for them in their hands. Yeah, the... Um, they still have to compete with the... That, that's the only thing that, that they really have to... I mean, unless you want to count the Steam Deck, but that's because... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Steam Deck has issues with Sony. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, that's what the um, well that well that that well that's just the nature of the beast. Can't really do much with uh, about that. I'm just more worried about like what's gonna happen with the stores themselves, you know? Cause like um oh I don't care we oh no we lost it's the end of the world um um the only, cause like Nintendo shut down the eShop for the 3DS, so all those games you bought are now are now not happening. You know? So, um, ah, oh, we're gonna be doing Frontline. Oh, well. Alright, fine. I'll, I guess I'll join with the... <gasps> no! I'll tie it up here. Oh, damn it. Fine. Um, but, like, I don't know, it's just... I honestly don't know how to feel about Sony's handheld. On one hand, yeah, it's good for competition, but on the other hand... God knows they ju they tried with the the Vita and the and the portable. Yeah. Yeah. So, well. No, so I in, in current time, in arguing now, looking back, I think if they had honestly just waited for the Vita and the portable, it would have been better. 
Because it wasn't like there was no demand for it, and it wasn't like no one wanted it. It wasn't until it was like hard to fucking get them that suddenly everybody was like, I want it. But Sony had already decided that they're not doing it. So, mm -hmm. so it's kind of, it's, handhelds are kind of weird. Because you can make a handheld and put it out there, but you're still competing it up. And it doesn't mean that you're just going to pop sell all of the bad. But in longevity time frame, it could sell that. Mm -hmm. But if you fucking gave up on it, like, cause that's my issue with the fucking 3DS and the longest time I was fighting just to fucking get one. Yeah. And you get one, they're like, okay, we're not gonna make anything else for you. You're like, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, just like the what happened with Shin Megami Tensei. You're just like, oh, they're not making it anymore. Oh no, Nintendo's had it. You can fucking buy a 3DS for this. You have, you have no idea. I'm so fucking mad when, like, years later, I discovered, yeah, Shin Megami Tensei 4 fucking been sitting over here. This whole goddamn time. Take it off the shelf, just stamp on. So fucking. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I can hear it, man. Like, I heard it in your, in, in, like, I heard that when I was making the, um, in, in that Slab Lounge episode. So much so that I actually put that clip in the Mad Hen, uh, reaction compilation, the Mad Hen crew reaction compilation. So it was like, well, oh. I mean, it was my favorite series would go through it. It was such a unique set of games. And then when you're like, oh, okay, I guess they just stop making them. Okay, cool. And then, like, years later, you find out, no, no, they've been doing this the whole time. You've just been denying yourself. You just didn't fucking look hard enough. <laughs> yeah. I have enough money, I will buy the goddamn franchise. Yeah, good luck with that. It's not like, it's not like fucking Jack. Jack Frost is not about being the next Smash Bros. I don't know why the fuck you're holding the top. Put Joker in there. Put Jack. Fucking mascot of the series. Put him in the top half. Yeah, yeah, I always thought that was weird that Joker was in Smash over, um, um, literally, because, like... Any of the iconic Shin Megami demons! Yeah, because isn't... Didn't, um... Wasn't Persona a, a Tensai spin-off? Yes! Yes, that's the biggest thing! They had... They have the license to four, which indirectly means you went back and you bought all the other licenses. Meaning, you have the license to three. You have the goddamn Demi Fee. The Demi Fee. Everybody's favorite one was the third. And you went, no. I'm going to show I'm not here to show Like the third five, enjoy the third. I mean, why would you pick Joker for the Demi I I try not to think about it because like I, the only people that I know that are into Persona was um uh or Evan and because he wouldn't shut up about it. In fact, so much so that like let me put it to you this way: when we were coming back from the Grand Canyon, because I don't think you joined us. Right? I have no memory of going to the Grand Canyon with y'all. So yeah. yeah. So he was basically in the car playing Persona 4 on the PSP. And I'm just like, dude, come on. We're, we're in the outdoors. Dude, come on. He's the only one that I actually know that um, loved uh, Shin, uh, Shin Megami. Uh, uh, Persona, other than other than Yahtzee, who, who absolutely loves 5. Um, but, uh, uh, so, I mean, the point that I'm trying to make is... I, I, I just. It's a little lost on you. Uh, yeah. It's a little lost on Yeah. Because, like, the. the, 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 the it's all turn based combat, and turn based combat and me have never really. Uh, yeah, me and turn based combat have a very have a very strained history. I mean, I'll put up with most, most forms of turn based combat. Uh, like, for instance, like. I'll, I'll play turn-based combat in Final Fantasy VI because Final Fantasy VI, yeah, it's it's Final Fantasy VI. You don't necessarily have a lot of room to move in a 16-bit game. Plus, um, plus, this was uh, this was at the same time when Squeenix, uh, where SquareSoft was all like, yeah, we know turn-based combat's boring, so let's just up the combat speed and make it ridiculously broken. Yeah, 
once you have like the Phantom Esper, like ninety percent of the combat is like completely moot. Is this? Um, yeah, but like in um. Do I hit you with? Oh, I think that was yeah. That, that was that was probably friend of mine. Hold on, let me try killing this guy. Oh, never mind. Thanks, dude. <laughs> anyway, um, but like with um, so that's why I don't personally um try. Like, uh, the, the, any of the Tensai's or, um, or, um, Persona, yeah, I'll forgive you. um, or, or the Personas, because they're all turn-based, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not, sorry, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that. Turn-based strategies, that's one thing, because they're strategies, but, like, um, like, turn-based combat overall in, like, JRPGs, no thank you. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. I mean, hell, fucking... You played Final Fantasy VII, right? Like, the, the yeah. OG one. I mean, the, the fucking 12-minute long summon. Knights of the Round. Are you kidding me with that nonsense? Ow. I am not... It's... When you first see it, yeah, it's cool, but, like, when you meet... Well, thank... I, when I got my hands on the Ultra when Knights of the Round, first time I saw it, yeah. By the end, when I was fighting Sephiroth, I didn't even fucking use it because it was just taking up way too much of my time. That was just ridiculous. That was just ridiculous. Yeah, no. And I still don't understand why people consider Final Fantasy VII to be the best in the franchise when it's when it's very hard for them to explain what the actual plot is. Not really. <laughs> I think that it was more along the lines of uh, I didn't. I thought that guy was on my team. <laughs> uh, they they liked style over substance. I mean, hell, Kefka's such a good villain because he's an asshole and he's not a, and he's not a, and he's unapologetic. When he got that godly power, first thing he fucking did was destroy the goddamn planet. Well, and also he's one of the villains that did actually do the things that they've been on. Yeah. So kind of put him, put him in a tier above everybody else in terms of Final Fantasy villains, because most all Final Fantasy villains don't actually complete what the fuck they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. He got a fucking whole arc of, I did it. Yeah, and he was just sitting there up in his goddamn ivory tower. Which one was Ultimisha uh, again? Huh? Which one was that? Uh, which one was that again? Final Fantasy VIII. Oh yeah. The one with the kids, but then they grew up and they knew each other. They yeah, they, they all grew up in the same the stupid family. orphanage. Yeah. Like the premises, the thing was, the premises of eight had no time. It's up until you get to write about that last disc that you're like, the fuck is going on? I so... It's not, it's not horrible. It's, you know, you're mercenaries. You're working in a base. You're going to stop fucking sorceresses who are trying to conquer country. There's technology, so you have Magitech back. Summons are fucking there. I hate it. The goddamn draw system. But I can tolerate it. Oh, the card system? I, yeah. I hate the fuck out of it. But I can tolerate it. I just, I just, I, I just, I just, I just, grindy self, and I just ran around the world and just stole everybody's magic at max, so mm -hmm. I just fucking at mm -hmm. There was no more drawing unless somebody showed up and I saw fucking question marks. And I'm like, what do you have, give me? Give it. But, other than that, my issue with me is because the story goes interestingly enough, you know, hunting the sorceress, find out your girlfriend's technically a sorceress, you know, you find out about I was cool with the whole, when your character knocks out, you go do the Laguna mission. I actually enjoy those better. So I wanted to do them. So every time the game was like, now, go back and be with the squall. It's like, uh. Yes. 
Don't even. Off the Zell. Zell was the the fighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Him, he might was cool with. Yeah. Like he was, he's cool in gameplay mechanics, but as a character. Dude, none of the characters were good. Dude, none of the characters were good. Are you kidding me? None of them were good. None of them were good. Irvine was like the he he was like the Vincent wannabe so hard because he had a yeah. good well no no I take that back I take that back no 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 I, I completely re I re I, re I recant that statement because like Irvine was more of a he wanted to be a he was a cowboy well yeah but towards the end they did give him the proper character arc that most of that was just him overcompensating in present. Like, there's a whole conversation. That's why I said, like, technically, he's the only one who's functionally the way they're supposed to Because he has a whole thing to explain. The way he is is because of everything that happened and him trying to make himself be strong and be there in the front. And then we all show the fuck back up. But the problem with that is that's literally Cloud's entire story. Yeah. <laughs> he lied to be, he lied to make himself look sexier to, uh, to Tifa, for God's sake. That's true. That is true. But he's just not technically the main character, so he doesn't get more Because it is. It's your thing with Vincent. Okay? Because in Final Fantasy VII, Vincent knows everything fucking going on. But he's asleep or doesn't fucking tell anybody. Remember, he was the EP3 All this shit. He knew about that one. Yeah. killed myself on the spikes. That is, you are absolutely right on that front, dude. That's what I'm saying. There's, that's, there will usually always be a good character in the story. And the character you could most, like, be like, they're cool. I identify with them. But when you start scrutinizing them in the plot, you understand why they're not the main character. Because you're like, shit would have already gotten the end of this done if they were the main character. Mm -hmm. So you purposely keep them away from telling the main character things they clearly know. So that shit can't get hammed. Yes, yes. One. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta admit, like this. Start, this episode turned into a lot more Final Fantasy E than I uh, than I cared to. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not saying. Well, you game. know what? I take that back. It's not. I, I won't. I won't like. I, I won't deny myself uh, any Final Fantasy goodness because, like, I I, I loved six. Um, and I hated what they, what, what Square, what Squeenix did to Kefka in, um, what was it, Dissidia? The Final Fantasy Final uh, Game? It, I have a mixed feeling for Kefka Dissidia, because first, when it first came out, it wasn't bad. Because they, they, they 
shined up to him 100%. But after the couple of times it kept getting remade into other versions, versions like Dewey Dessa, and currently in T Warrior. Yeah, his personalities went through shifts because they tried to make story elements that don't exist exist. They really toned him down. He's not, he's not a character that's supposed to care about the world that you put him in. But for the purposes of the story, he exists in that world, so he has to somewhat care because he's there. But in a normal sense, it's not a world he can conquer. He can't gain more power about it. And it's half of the people that he's meeting from the Final Fantasy thing, he either knows of or knows the villain who fucking dealt with him. So when you interact with him, he already knows fucking about you. Yeah. It's so just... it's like, you can clearly tell technically in, in the story, if you watch it, you can tell he's born. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, he's he like really was, yeah. Born. Yeah. He really was bored, like bored out he of his show mind. Up, be excited if somebody tried to fight him. But the moment that they, even if they won, if they were just boring about it, he'd just be like, ugh, fuck it, and then just leave. Like, mm. half the time you didn't actually beat him. He just left. He was fucking tired of it. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, we're coming close to time. End it here, narrator. And there you have it, Larkers. Tune in next week for Matt Hen Plays More. Oh! Boop. Ugh.